the <laughs> bear has Iowa State covering four and a half at K-State. What do you think, Des? Well, that's my super dog. So I'm going with K-State outright. I got, I got Kansas State beating Iowa State. Matt has a tough place to play. And Kansas State's a good football team, but Iowa State is too balanced. And they got a stud at running back. Iowa State wins. Great pick and a great analysis. Mm -hmm. Iowa State. When you agree with him, it's a great job. <laughs> great, great analysis. I'm with you. I, think, I think Brock Purdy is, uh, is the difference in this game today. Kansas State's going to be close, but they'll come up a little short. Oklahoma has won three straight games by four points or fewer, but they've owned the Cowboys. Who wins that one? I tell you what, Jalen Hurst, listen, everyone talk about how he can't throw the ball. They yeah. have a wishbone team. They're going to go out there and prove a lot of people wrong today. They will beat the Cowboys. I agree. You know, the close games have been because of turnovers, and I think it's going to be a difference today. No turnovers. Oklahoma big. Yeah. Is this your super dog? It's my super yeah. dog. Oklahoma big. Yeah. <laughs> big Oklahoma exactly. Big. Exactly. Because Reese thinks the Cowboys are going to yeah. win this Bro. one outright. Big. I'm going to go with Oklahoma. <laughs> Jalen Hurts. And I think Eric made a great point. It, they cannot turn the ball over. They're minus seven in the last four games. They've got to protect the ball to, to be able to win this one. Boy, after that, I feel like growing a mullet. Look at all those OUs across there for sure. a and and LSU on ESPN tonight. Last year, they played seven OT. Yeah, not this year, though. I think LSU is a different team. We said Grant Delpit practice all week. He's going to be back. I got LSU big over a and They're not overlooking this game because of last year with the seven-time over yeah. game. They're in the driver's seat. LSU wins. Great pick. LSU outscores A&M. Outscores them. You think Kellen Mond can have that, a big that, day against yes, that sir. defense again? I think the, the timing of this isn't good for A&M. They gave Georgia all they could handle last week in Athens in the rain. I think because of the rankings, I think LSU is going to show up in a bad mood defensively. I think they look the best they've looked all year against a very good offense in Jimbo Fisher and Kellen Mond. And in the Iron Bowl in the SEC, Alabama at Auburn, Mac Jones at quarterback. Who wins? You know, everyone's focused on Mac Jones, but you got to look at Bo Nix, too. I think he's going to turn the ball over a couple of times. Alabama's second in the nation in, in getting turnovers. So I got Alabama beating Auburn in the Iron Bowl. Two young quarterbacks going to, going to each other. It's kind of a wash for me, but Alabama has the better roster. Alabama wins. Good pick. Alabama, one point. Wow. Man. I think Alabama's been waiting for this as a team since Tua went down. People have been just kind of sitting back waiting to see how good is Alabama without Tua. I think it's the team around Mac Jones that's able to come up with enough plays. I think Sark will put Mac Jones in a position to have success, getting the ball out quickly, RPO game, and running with Najee Harris. I like, uh, I like Alabama. And coming up in a few minutes, Ohio State and Michigan, seven straight for the Buckeyes. Who wins this one? I think the streak ends the day. You look at Michigan's offense. They're going to have to control Chase Young. If they can control Chase Young, they have the receivers that I think can attack the inside of uh, Ohio State's defense. I got Michigan in a close one. Michigan's playing well. Shea Patterson's playing well. Ohio State's too good. Ohio State's taking this one. Well, that's a great pick. Ohio State, Michigan's hot. Field goal. Close game. Ohio State. You know, when, when you haven't won in this rivalry, and it's, Jim Harbaugh goes into this game, he needs a win. How they start, I think, is huge. If Michigan gets into a hole early at home, that's a big problem. I think it's competitive early, spirited. Justin Fields, to me, is the key to this football game. If he does not turn it over, Ohio State will win the game. I like Ohio State on the road, close game, they win the game. And Ohio State is on its way to the Big Ten Championship game no matter what. And so, too, is the winner of the Wisconsin-Minnesota game. No rivalry in major college football has been played more. 60 wins apiece, and the stakes are more than just cute little video of running across the field and grabbing an axe. Somebody's going to play for a title. Paul Bunyan's axe is very meaningful to not just both the teams, to the fans, to the states. It's symbolic. Pride, tradition, it's almost like holding one of your children. When you lose it, the only thing that you can do is look at the, the pain in the senior's eyes. Kind of fills you up with rage, you know, even thinking about it. Not just Paul Bunyan's axe this year. You know, Big Ten West, Big Ten Championship. There's a lot on the line for this game this year. Winning that game, sending us to the Big Ten Championship, it would mean everything to get the axe back. Kirk's calling the game. It will not make a pick. Desmond, who wins the axe and goes to the Big Ten Championship game? Tell you what, very impressed with P.J. Fleck, his coaching staff, this offense. They've done a tremendous job. There's no way they're going to lose this game today against the Wisconsin Badgers. Minnesota will be in the Big Ten Championship game against Ohio State, and they're going to go crazy. Eric, what do you say? <laughs> Woo, I'm rolling the boat, baby. I have not touched the axe playing here, but I'm taking that thing home with you today. I'm rolling the boat, and Minnesota's taking this thing home, coach. Hey. Let's go. Go, go, go.
great, great pick. All right. It's great to be here in snowy north. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're here to see the most played rivalry in Division I football. You know that? Yeah. Sweetheart. <laughs> What do you, you know the record in the series is? I think it, I, it's deadlocked. It's like 60, 60, and 8. You know, all time. You know who won the first game played in 1890? Reese told me this morning that the Gophers blew him out. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. And you remember what happened last year? Last year, the Gophers went to Madison and they brought the axe back. Mm. Oh. Yeah. You know what happens? Now? Today? I, I'm, I'm afraid to ask. I don't know. What do, you, what do you got? The Gophers win. Give me that hand. Let's go! <laughs> Spin. Oh, no. Cody's spinning the hand. Is that a sign of the apocalypse? <laughs> Cody's hand is spinning around on the neck. We'll see with another new headgear choice. He has Minnesota going to the Big Ten Championship game against Ohio State. Man, what a great morning here. Unbelievable crowd. DJ Fleck promises 4 million people. Yeah. It certainly seems like so a bunch crazy. of them got here. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.